the value of uh, reflexivity. I mean, this is a, such a fantastic opportunity for thinking about myself, thinking about others, thinking about the progression of my career, um, thinking of relationships. Um, it's, uh, you know, it sort of develops what I was describing earlier as kind of the meta-awareness. Um, it's not just you anymore that you're sort of thinking for. You're sort of thinking about how to communicate those things to, to others so that they might benefit from them. I think that's kind of a, a perspective that I didn't have before. It was sort of, what did I learn out of this? What can others get out of it? Um, I think that's kind of the, the what's been maybe the, the, one of the most meaningful aspects of it is the thinking that someone else might um, might gain from my experience. Um, therefore, I should start to think about how to communicate it, how to think about it, so that someone might gain from my experience, as opposed to just sort of blindly moving through life and thrashing about and succeeding or not, and and having that be the end of it. Uh, but can you encapsulate these things in terms of? interesting answers, interesting questions, um, so that it can be codified and captured uh, for others. It's generally very positive. Um, people are very excited about the overall capture your flag idea. I think that's sort of, it's landed well with people who've reached out to me. Um, I get an email a week from someone who's interested in what I do and they are able to go to the site and kind of learn about how I think about it in a, a very honest and genuine way. Um, and so it helps sort of bootstrap any conversation. People aren't just starting from a place of not having like a knowledge of me. They've seen me both um, in terms of these questions. Uh, they've seen me in terms of like change over time. Um, and that kind of helps to, to, to build a form of relationship that is beyond being a stranger. So it's sort of a, a, a warm handshake instead of a, um, an arm's length one. <laughs> it's actually more a matter to me of who wouldn't. I actually think the people who might benefit most are people maybe who haven't developed any amount of um, reflexivity in the process uh, because this is actually kind of a fantastic way of just regimenting that. Um, I think that's sort of one of my takeaways is how this is probably something that's fundamental um, for developing awareness, developing thinking, and developing skills that are critical for leadership, uh, for happiness, for self-management. These are things I think that everybody actually could benefit from. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's more to me a matter of how do you institutionalize it? Um, what are the institutions that should sort of be providing it that aren't?